slightly <laughs> bigger facility. It's still a sausage fest. Yeah, so man. as we go into Pokemon Stadium, it's Pokemon Stadium 2. Yeah, man. Let's start number one. Starting things off with possibly the best Greninja in the world, Deadly Alliance's very own venue. Yeah, now for sure. And automatically, look at that. Jewel already losing stage control. But Jewel, I don't know. Uh, he, he is tricky, man. Tricky. I mean, you kind of have to be if you're playing Robin. I mean, Robin in this game, not bad in the slightest. In fact, uh, 6WX, a PGR player from uh, where I'm from, Philadelphia, uh, won, a, won a local with Robin, won a weekly. Yeah, he does. He, 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 has, he has some stuff, man. Oh, oh what, what a, a beautiful Jesus. recovery with the Elwin <laughs> and also teching that Venya caught off guard. And you said he was tricky, Wolf. You weren't playing. Oh, man, I'm telling you. So the thing is, Jewel, Jewel's item play is, like, something to look out for. Like, he'll purposely waste some of his books and, some, and, and the Levin Sword just to use it to, for kill confirms. And that's, like, one of the hypest things to see, man. But Venya's definitely no slouch either. Ooh, both of them, both of them grabbed the stage twice. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. He's trying to catch him with uh, Levin Sword, it looked like. Just keep him out. But uh, to no avail, Venya right now, I mean... It's a it's a frog, so it makes sense that he'd be that slippery. But at the same time, yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, yeah. if we're going by Pokemon rules, <laughs> Arc Thunder is definitely super effective, man. Oh yeah, for sure. And uh, generally, oh my, that sword. Uh, I'm not sure how uh, how water works against Steel types, but <laughs> might be a new, neutral interaction nonetheless. Ooh, Water Shuriken tags her, and beautiful, Holy uncheckable, gosh. and unstoppable Venya is looking like right now. He draws first blood. Yeah, but at 99 percent. Jules definitely no strangers to Robin's kill confirms, man. Oh, 114? Oh, looking for the kill right here. That back, uh, looking for a confirm into back air, I could only imagine, as it seems to be the, uh, of course, those arc fires on you the ledge. You have to watch that. Oh, you have to my. watch that. You know, having done so many events in Jersey, I should be used to seeing uh, fires being thrown out on the ledge, <laughs> just considering how many Nesses seem to be running around that state. But nonetheless, Jewel will be picking up his first stock. Mm -hmm. And only at 52% too, man. It's not it's something to to you know, Venya is easily, easily continuing oh, to yeah, there we go. I'm at a loss for words. I had a huge brain fart. I'm not even gonna lie, sorry. <laughs> And it's okay, dude. the the best The best way to do it is just turn your brain off. Oh, of course. Of course. Forward oh air with the weapon sword. Turn it right back on and peep game at Jewel, who's taking it to Deadly Alliance's Venya in a big way and sitting at 93%. However, easier said than done. Getting these kills, drop down. That was a big read into the. I mean, it's hard. It's hard to get down on platform off of platforms in this game. It's yeah. uh, you, if you can do it consistently, you're generally in good shape. But sure. catching him with these Arc Thunders, Jewel is, uh, I mean, he might, he might actually be Shulk with how much of the visions that he's uh, getting, <laughs> where he's going to be catching him with these Arc Thunders with relative consistency here. It's Wolf. the future side, but beautiful drag down, up to forward smash, and Venya gonna take the last stock. And we're here, we're, we're here, man. This is, this, this, is the, <laughs> this is the home game. This is the last stock. It's gonna be interesting, man. Exactly, Venya perhaps catching on to uh, Jewel's movement. But uh, really, your success as a Robin is pretty much predicated on how well you can move in the air because, yes, you are playing Robin, which is a little bit more mobile in this game than prior, but so is every single character. It did not suffer, the, I, I guess, uh, as much of a windfall of uh, options as every other, uh, as many other characters in this game, we should say. Not every, obviously. But you, uh, you still need to be able to move around. You still need to be able to avoid, especially against Greninja, who can do pretty much anything that he <laughs> wants in terms of mobility. It's, it's super and now, slippery, man. And uh, he and has to watch the arc fires, and that's one of the jewels. Mm -hmm. That's one of Jules' things. Rather, it's one of the Robin's things. The arc fires at the ledge. You can really only roll. You can hop off the ledge, and you can get up attack because that's because it's invincible. But yep. your options are super, super limited. And Robin, <laughs> oh my God, oh, he's off stage. Oh, the no, footstool! Him, what a footstool! And Jewel finds himself on the... Wow! Surviving the down air and Jewel. Amazing awareness play from him. And you're absolutely right. If he wants to get this kill, which he may may still be able to do, sitting at 100 and... Never mind. That's You know what? Yo. Welcome to the commentator's curse here at Zeno. But yeah. Why'd you speak? Why'd you speak? <laughs> I don't know. That's why I'm here, to talk. But nonetheless, 
Uh, Jewel, perhaps wishing that I didn't, Venya will take game number one. And as we saw, it just could not close things out on the ledge. Jewel doing pretty much everything right, but you really do have to take advantage of every single edge guarding opportunity that you have. And he did so relatively well, but uh, just could not close out and get the kill. It was really a race to the finish, and Venya by a nose beats him out. Yeah, man, everything was stock for stock. Anytime that one of them got it, got got the, got the stock off, the other one would just immediately just say, you know what, it's okay, I have my kill confirms, I know what I can do, and bring it back immediately. Only 4%, like, imagine that only 4% was, was the difference by the time the game ended. But let's see if Jewel can actually try and figure out maybe, like, maybe a possible new game plan. We'll have to see. Perhaps a little bit of patience is uh, necessary here. However, Venya, he uh, he wants to keep on the gas pedal and not let off. He's going to be racing like it's Watkins Glen out here. And now, with the uh, with the arc fires, going to try to get back into uh, just make it back to neutral. But Venya, it's never been the easiest proposition in the world to make it back. It's such so good at expanding the stage, so good at making the air his home. But. Uh, He'll have to do a little bit more on the defensive uh, in the defensive side of the game if he wants uh, a little bit more of a comfortable game too. Yeah, no, I mean, he took him from zero to like 100 immediately. But now this is when Jules, Jules telling himself, you know what, it's my turn now. Let me show you what I can do. And this is when he has to turn up, man. 122 against Greninja is not where you want to be. He has those kill confirms with the down with the down uh, d down tilt to up smash, and you you have the down tilt to fair too. Yeah, well, I mean. It's funny. We were talking about uh, we were talking about this at uh, at Spectrum. Just how many of the high tiers in? Oh, oh my! my Jesus! I was talking, Jewel. This that is was what I'm so, saying. That was so rude. You gotta watch out for him. See, and and, and and Venya, I guess I'm gonna say he avenged me. He was thinking entirely of me when he did that uh, when he did that smash attack to kill. But nonetheless, he was not. Nonetheless, I mean, Jewel. <laughs> he was not. Yeah, no. <laughs> Jewel coming to play, man. I mean, he is catching Venya relatively consistently with these arc fires. I mean, uh, type advantage aside, always a good option and uh, much improved over Smash 4. <laughs> yeah, man, for sure. And now, ooh, drag down, a drag down up air. Did not get in the continuation that uh, Venya wanted. Oh, unfortunately, the tilt was the other way. Back air, great coverage. Looking Goes for the Shadow Sneak, and you know, um, oh, ah! oh, what a tech oh. by Jewel. Saving his own life, perhaps, and he is so good at those, uh, at being aware of the threat of that down air on ledge, mm -hmm. and he has been there, uh, ready to ready to get back at it, and he is rewarded by taking Venya to a last stock situation here in game number two, mm -hmm. looking to get things back into it, but he keeps getting caught right away. Venya very good at evening things up, and uh, he's never been one to lay down and die in. I tried to say man, and all of a sudden my uh, words got slurred. <laughs> no, just just like ten minutes ago, man. Words words are hard. Words are hard. But beautiful back air by Jewel has the stage control against Venya. Oh, up throw? Nope, back throw. He knows he knows that he doesn't have a kill throw just yet against him. But he knows that generally speaking, Robins do struggle and disadvantage. However, Jewel has found ways to get back. There's not a whole lot you can do about that. A lot of these kills that he's gotten, Wolf, have been from uh, from the neutral with those short hop back airs, and uh, seems to be doing it relatively effectively. Jewel being so uh, being so good at uh, in terms of awareness with everything else, in terms of everything else with Venya's offensive measures, at least. Uh, not really catching on to that uh, to that kill option. That's a big one. Mm -hmm. And notice how every time that Jewel is off stage, Venya is pressuring him. He wants to make him work to get back on stage because Robin's recovery, not having a hitbox on top of on top of him, right? So mm -hmm. he knows if, if Venya Venya has the back air, they hit him through the side, and he can hit him with the down air from the top. And that's what he's trying to capitalize on. But Jewel's playing it very very tricky, man. Indeed, and uh, Venya, of course, knowing that he might have to recover high, but even then, you have uh, the potential of that Levin Sword catching you for big damage. Mm -hmm. And perhaps Ace. even the kill, which at 88%, uh, not as impossible. <laughs> okay, some Espanol up in here. <laughs> see, man. Bibi in Costa Rica for uh, three meses. Okay! I oh see my! The trade! What a what trade! Happened? Goodness gracious, Jewel! By the skin of his teeth, he survives. We're going to game three. What happened? What, have died? I I'm trying to see. Yeah, we're going to look at it right now. Take that and rewind it back. The throw and into the... The forward air. Yo, he would have died. He actually, I think he actually would have died too. The frame one of the hitbox on the forward air, it looked <laughs> like. And 
you saw the knockback on Jewel. We were looking for uh, we were looking for the end of the set. Jewel having to recollect himself, uh, perhaps counting his blessings. He'll have to count three more stocks off of Venya if he wants to survive in advance to winter semis. The magician and the frog, and automatically Jewel sniping out Venya's second jump with his nair. Oh, but the magician and the frog. That was an Aesop fable, right? I'm gonna say yes. I don't know. Yeah, me. I, I, I don't know. I, I, either. Honestly, Come on. Don't... Read a oh, book. But, but look oh at the trajectory my. on that! Holy he smoke! Read it. You see why you read books, people? You're right. You see why you read books? You're right. Edumacation. <laughs> there you go, man. Yo, what is what is even in that thing? Anyway, the jab coming out from Benya, and he needs to pile on this damage quick. What an advantage! A dream start for Jewel in this game number three, especially considering how Venya, right out of the gate, coming out swinging from game number two. Perhaps uh, that's part of Jewel's strategy kind of play a little bit more passively, let the game come to him in games one and two. But you know what? After a bunch of change-ups, it's hard to adjust to the fastball. And Jewel coming out with a 98-mile-an-hour heater to start things off. For sure, man. And this is the thing. Back here. Beautiful. What's helping Jewel right now in this matchup is he knows the trajectory of all of his, of his hits. Anytime that Jewel throws, uh, you know, Arc Fire, Arc Thunder, Elf Thunder, like he knows where his opponents are going to land. And Venya needs to bring this deficit back immediately. 131% is not where you want to be against Robin. Oh. As a beautiful backer comes out, is he going to do it? Oh, catches him with the upper. Thought he was going to go for the up smash. Get the airs dodge. He's surviving at 104%. And yeah, uh, knockback in this game, just a, a little different than it was in Smash 4. Just in terms of airspeed, in terms of movement. And in fact, this is what, how a lot of, I feel like this is how a lot of characters lost their confirms for neutral. I mean, poor one out for Diddy Kong, folks. Press that <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Why you gotta do my man's like that? I, for, first of all, Diddy's, I'm pretty sure a child. So if you're hanging out with children, okay, you want know, never mind. <laughs> at 120%, Jewel definitely has the lead in this match, and he has so much confirm, I mean, so much control, sorry, and the pressure that Venya must be under right now, in the mental state that, he, that he's in. Ooh. Oh my god, 164 against a Robin. Oh! It's certainly, oh! oh looking cheeky, for it. Cheeky. And he's been catching that relatively consistently. I don't know, uh... He is, uh, he, and he is goading Venya to approach here. He wants him on the edge, and there you go. Venya caught napping, and that's Robin saying, if you're going to come at me, you best come correct. If you <laughs> As Venya down to his last stock, what an advantage for Jewel. And, I mean, he was letting the game come to him, trying to catch him with the command grab on the ledge. Instead, Venya finally option. collecting that first stock. Oh, beautiful option, indeed. And, the, and now this is the thing. Venya, uh, Venya has to understand that Jewel is, you're right, Jewel is playing this match differently. Oh my god. And he has to turn up. He has to, he has to get him with the cheeky gimp right now. Kind of has to go, you know, when you when you're when you're down this much, it's kind of a hammer situation, you know? Cuz if you if you don't take the stock, you know you're just going to lose like just by damage alone cuz he you know, Robert's going to kill you with like forward air, forward throw or something like that. Um So I can only imagine the pressure that Benya must be feeling right now as he takes him off stage with the fair. Ooh, oh, unfortunate oh. snaps. There you go, Venya. Almost forced what? to apply pressure. He will run right into the forward smash. And Levin, sword in hand, Jewel slashes his way into winner's semis. Take that and rewind it back, Wolf. Take us through this kill. And you see here, notice the arc fire. Notice that his shield is whittling down. And last The down smash has two hits. Two hits. Venya shielded the first one. But by that point, you know, the majority of the damage is already done. And catching him with the last hit of the down smash. Beautiful awareness on like of his character. You know, like, he knew. He was like, you know, he's trapped in shield right now because that arc fire is hitting him. I'm gonna down smash. And if it doesn't poke, it might break. <laughs>